of this right now, but let's go through one of those systems with you right now. Let's go through the stress-free speaker system. So first, let me check in with you. Is this content useful, and are you enjoying it, yes or no? Yes. Okay, look at the person next to him, right, left and right, and say, he's good even though he's small. <laughs> All right, so please write the word system down the side of a page. The very first element of the stress-free speaker system is that you must first learn to control and manage your own emotional state. It's very, very important you learn how to manage your own emotional state. And here's why. Because one, you're not going to look credible unless you have a good quality state that you can deliver from. But also, because you want to also be able to change the audience's state at various times. Now, if you can't change and manage your own state, you've got no chance of managing the audience's state. Now, a number of ways to manage this state, I'll give you one very briefly right now, and it's this. What do you think the number one resource for human beings is? What's the most valuable resource for human beings? Breathing, correct, air. Now, I don't think you thought about this before, but speaking involves breathing out. Speaking involves breathing out, meaning when you speak, air is going out that way, which presupposes some must have gone in this way. Now, I hear some people talk about this rubbish, like, oh, you should breathe from down here, and the voice comes. It's all rubbish, right? You want to know the number one thing you should do to look more credible and to have more balanced state? Pause more when you speak. That's it. Just pause more when you speak. If you have a block of text to read, they provide punctuation for you. Full stops, commas, end of paragraphs. So when you speak, you should have full stops, commas, and ends of paragraphs. A full stop is a full breath, a comma is a half breath, and a paragraph is two breaths. That's it. And here's what happens. Not only are you going to look more balanced and credible as a speaker and come across more conversational, but more importantly, when you pause, here's what happens. It gives the audience a chance to take in what you've said, make a picture of it in their mind, or talk to themselves, and then they relate it to their lives during that gap in your speech. Are we agreed that if you're going to become a speaker, you want to instigate some kind of change in the person's life or business or health or relationships or something like that? Is that true? Yes or no, guys? So unless you pause, no change occurs. When you make an impact line, when you finish a great story, whatever you do, you must pause to allow the audience to make those connections. Does that make sense? Raise your hand if you understand. Turn the person left, turn the person right and say, I'm going to pause more when I speak. Go ahead. 